Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video we see draft command in CATIA V5. See go to start, part design, I take a block, a rectangular block, go to sketch, Pad, give some length, I give 50 and I use mirror option so that plane will be placed in the middle. Now, see we, we see draft option, draft angle in reserve features. Select drop, draft angle. First thing you need to select faces to drop. See, select faces to drop. Then neutral element, either top surface or bottom surface, you have to select. I select top surface. Neutral element is the area which remains constant. Give angle over here, 10 degrees. You can see drop angle to that face. See here. If you give negative value minus 10, it goes inside like this. You can select all the four faces. I delete. I again select a drop angle command. Go for drop face one, face two, face three, face four. Now I select neutral element bottom face. First I give positive value, 15 degrees, it adds, see base will be constant, then you can also give negative value minus 15, like this. Now I delete drop neutral element the constant you can select either surface or a plane drop face to drop see i select neutral element as a middle plane now you can see the middle plane you can see this pink line now if you give the value now see either in down it is reduced and to the top it is in increased material is added see both top and bottom surface area changes but the plane the area at the plane will be constant now i delete again go to drop see selection by neutral face if you keep this on then simply select neutral element then the face connected to this neutral surface will be given drop angle hmm? nothing but no need to select again now i delete we see also sub option in it go for drop drop go to more
now i select face to drop is this one change color i change color Face to drop, select the surface, go to more, define parting element, see, neutral element, I select the top surface, parting element, see what does this parting element means, parting element I have selected the plane which is at the middle or you can take separate plane also at some distance maybe from the top surface 20 mm from the top surface or bottom surface any distance you can select a plane in the place of parting element what does this parting element do mean see angle 15 degrees given go for preview so draft will be applied to this surface up to parting element this means parting element means you will get a draft angle to this face up to that plane you can see the output see neutral element is this parting element define parting element I have to select see select this then go for preview see here very useful option now I select all the faces face to drop this face this face and this face now define parting element we have selected parting element this plane now see the output 15 degrees see with the single option you will get all the faces dropped now in this it shows four outputs four outputs means see positive value angle given then we got like this now positive 15 degrees I reverse the direction now see the output see this is the second output see the other side you will get a drop angle of 15 degrees now I reverse pulling direction to the top only now I give the value third output minus 15 degrees now see see the up. this is minus value pulling direction to the top now same minus value pulling direction down see this so four ways four outputs in a single command plus 15 degrees direction top see this type of a feature you can create by using dropped then what is this parting is equal to neutral see nothing but here we have selected in this what we have selected neutral element means this top surface we have selected but the parting is this one if you select this parting is equal to neutral then this will be parting element and this will be neutral element then nothing you will get the output then how can we use that option means I delete I once again select draft now see I select this surface now neutral element I select a middle plane now already we have seen that the middle area will be constant the top and bottom surface changes now I go for preview more parting is equal to neutral first I reverse this direction then I go for preview plus 15 degrees then see the output like this will get plane neutral at the middle same area will be there and from there you will get a drop angle phase 2 drop I select all the four phases 
now you see the output parting is equal to neutral see like this next i give negative value minus 15 outside you will get a drop see 20 positive value inside minus 20 outside two outputs and I give positive value 20 now I reverse the direction this is third output like this. fourth output see reverse the direction negative value like this. if in case draft both sides keeping this parting is equal to neutral draft both sides if you select this option see like this will get if it is a positive value 20 degrees both sides you will get a drop parting line will be at the middle so many parts will be like like this only we have to apply drop to, uh, to both sides uh, keeping neutral at the middle like this we use very important options uh, in drop angle then what is this limiting element means see limiting element I delete drop phase 2 dropped neutral element I select the top surface more limiting element I select plane now either this side or that side you will get a drop of the given angle 20 degrees like this if I give minus 20 see only to that side you can reverse the direction see this arrow you have to select positive value outside you will get you can also select two planes see I select plane reverse direction phase 2 drop select this phase neutral go to parting element sorry limiting elements select this plane and select this plane arrow should be reversed see this side and that side you will get dropped angle and the surface between two planes remains constant you can reverse both the planes should be reversed only that area you will get a drop like this we use different options in drop angle thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe imperial cad system